first time I ever performed in front of an audience was in the fall of 2004 when I was in third grade. Every year, uh, the third graders, as the tradition, would put on a play, and it was somewhat of a rite of passage to do the third grade play, so we were all very excited for it. Um, I, in particular, was excited for it because I knew I was going to get the lead because I was one of the only kids that did not have braces. <laughs> so I saw this as an opportunity to achieve celebrity status um, and get the lead, and I thought I would get recognition and attention, which was something I really wanted, especially from the new kid who had just moved to our school from South Africa. His name was Dijon, and I was smitten. Um, so, Miss Billingsley, our third grade teacher, decided that our play would be Paul Bunyan, the musical. <laughs> uh, and she also decided that instead of casting it herself or holding auditions, she would let us cast it by uh, volunteering to play a part that she would briefly describe. Um, so we did this prior to reading it, so we almost cast it sort of blindly. Um, and when she described the role of Babe as <laughs> having a lot of lines and a solo, my tiny brain thought, that's it. That is, that is the lead. Um, it sounds cute. Uh, I, I volunteered and I got the part. And I was so excited until I read the play. <laughs> what my teacher had failed to mention was the full name of Babe was Babe the Big Blue Ox. <laughs> my solo was glamorously titled, I Need Pancakes. <laughs> a song in which I lamented for three minutes about not being able to eat my daily serving of two tons of pancakes. <laughs> what made matters worse was that I was the tallest kid in the third grade. I was like five feet tall, so I did not want to be associated with this large <coughs> character and draw attention to myself in that way. So I went to my teacher and I begged her to let me resign from the role of Babe, the Big Blue Ox. <laughs> and she would not let me. She said, you know, that's not fair to the other kids who already have their roles and they already like their roles and maybe they don't want to switch. And so I decided, well, fine, um, I'll just sabotage myself. <laughs> <laughs> so at every rehearsal, uh, I would be, I would skulk around and be super mopey, but Unfortunately for me, my character was in a hostage situation. Uh, Babe, Big Blue Ox was Paul Bunyan's pet ox, a uh, very unconventional <coughs> pet. <laughs> but Babe, the Big Blue Ox was kidnapped by the villains to upset Paul Bunyan. Um, so the whole I don't want to be here attitude was exactly <laughs> what the character was supposed to be. So I thought I was going to be so bad, I would be forcibly removed. But instead, I was praised for my acting talent. <laughs> so I just sort of accepted my fate. Uh, I'm going to be the laughing stock of the school and the butt of every joke for all of eternity. And I did the performance. And everyone loved it. And I loved it and Dijon loved it. <laughs> People would come up to me and ask me to do my song and I would have to pretend like I hated the attention. Oh no, I couldn't possibly. I need pancakes. <laughs> and so it worked out well for me. I was happy, I found something that I loved to do. I was confident, I was popular. I had a boyfriend, and all I needed to do was put on a blue fat suit and sing and dance to a song about pancakes. Thank you.